Okay, let's do a little VOD review. I think we're looking at Marauder V8 here. Uh, Roadhog. Let's check it out. Well, it's high noon okay. somewhere in the world. Now, for the record, I have put a little bit of time into Roadhog, just, just a bit. Um, but I am only like platinum on average, so let's see what I can, what I can advice I can give here. Uh, hopefully, he's not just actually better than me, but we'll see. What happened to your heel? I guess you got stunned and lost it. Escort the payload. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's like the millisecond you pushed it. Okay. So. Obviously, ideally, you One. land this hook, but like, you know that. Five. The. So, not just like, do you want to land this hook? But it's actually not super worth coming out of this uh, this choke right now. You could actually just play this corner from behind the enemy team. Uh, instead of coming out into the open here. And yes, you get that kill. But you were good, your team was going to get that kill anyway. right? Unfortunately, you lose your healing there. Which sort of makes you not able to play as aggressively as you probably could or should in that situation. You have full health now. But your team's dead. So... Uh, you kind of lost the element of surprise there. You lost that momentum. Yeah, Echo's a kind of a tough matchup. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I don't know if... Okay, that would have been a great opportunity to go for uh, a environmental kill right there. If you position yourself just a little bit, a little bit to the edge here, you could potentially toss that ball off the edge. Uh, you had lots of time to set up for that. You didn't know you didn't know it was coming around this corner, but it might have been a good idea to look for that environmental kill. There. Uh, or you could have just tried to one v one this echo back here. Uh, when she was the only one around. Or you could have killed yourself and reset with your team, because your team was all dead. At this point, your team is all dead. You could just walk off the edge and deny the enemy ult charge and reset with your team. That would have been a perfectly acceptable play at that point. See, this is... You die separately from your team, which can happen very easily as Roadhog. That kind of becomes a problem. Here. So, your team's already back. Uh, but you gotta wait in the void. Yeah. So your team's kind of trickling here. You're, I mean, obviously you died out of sync, but like, at this point the call, you should be making the call, you know, like, move up, fall back. Um, I'm assuming you're in chat if you want to climb. You should be in voice chat. Uh, but yeah, at this point, Trying to get everybody together. Uh, okay, it's pretty hook. Nice, nice. Now you just gotta get out. Yeah. So it's important to take note of like who can actually stun you as Roadhog or who can shut down your heal. And I think Sigma is the only one on their team that can actually stop your heal, you know, in the middle, right? Or interrupt it or you know, hack it, or whatever. It, so once you see his rock come out, you should know that you're safe to heal, and you should be watching for that rock, because as soon as that rock comes out and it's on cooldown, oh, okay, I can, I can heal now, right? Like, almost nothing else here 
it, maybe the echo could burst damage you down, uh, but not while you're healing. So you're pretty much safe to hold on and wait to heal until that rock comes out. And that's that's a good thing to keep in mind. That's a great hook. That's fantastic. Okay, I would like you pick to pick the target here when you're whole hogging. Uh, you, you kind of look for other people. I think you're better off trying to finish off this. Uh, Trying to finish off the Sigma, I'm trying to push him off the edge over here, or just focus him down. Uh, I can't tell if he has his hands up. I don't know if the effect is showing up on my screen. But look at that. He's he's very possibly killable. If you keep pushing forward, maybe you could pin him against one of these pillars or against the wall here and potentially kill Oh, you almost got him. You almost got him there, actually, with that headshot. Look, look how much health he has. He's almost... He's almost dead there. You, you probably could have finished that. You don't get anything of value over there. Oh, you get the hook though. That's a nice hook. Yeah, you're landing some nice hooks. That's good to see. Nice, and you're finishing them. So you got you got the Roadhog bread and butter down. Good. You wait for the rock to heal. Looking for that. Okay. I think you're a little distracted here. I feel like I feel like you should have picked a target to try and take out. Like Roadhog's kind of like an assassin in that way. Like you can come out here and if you focus on the Sigma, he's low enough that you can get him. Or you can come around this corner and potentially hook and one-shot the Mercy, at which point he's screwed anyway, right? So you should pick one of these targets. These are both great targets you could pick, but instead, you kind of look for the Mercy, and then you turn around, you've lost track of the Sigma, shoot it out. You see what I mean? Like, you had two really juicy targets, and I think you got, I think you got distracted by options there. Balls. Uh, not that soft of a target, but you almost got it. Oh, you get him! Oh, I thought you got him. He's getting away. But see, now their whole team is like grouped up. You know, if you take out that Sigma or that Mercy, you know, I think their team would be in a lot worse spot. Yeah, see, by the time you find the ball again, he's so yeah. Work on finishing off those low targets. I think is a good piece of advice to try and keep in mind. Okay. Uh, that wasn't so great. Again, I feel like you're very, very uh, ADD. These targets like that was good. Can't hook your uh, Sigma there, but. Lost your heal. Again, if you wait for that rock to come out before you heal, you can almost guarantee that you get the full heal off. Okay. Yeah, you might be better off trying to grab one of these squishy targets behind the tank one. Yeah. Okay. It's a good try though. Tide has turned against you. Oh, with the back cap. That was nice. Okay. I think you really want this Echo dead. Not that I blame you, but maybe that's part of why you're getting distracted because it's one particular, particular target dead. Just because you know they're a threat. Because like it's an opportune target. Oh, did you try and heal again? Did your heal get stuffed? That's a good hook. Oh, he tried to heal right when he got you. Okay, yeah. You knew you must have known the signal was there. So
So at this point you kind of might want to look for, yeah, isolated targets. Yep. Okay. It's a little messy. This whole fight is a little messy. Uh, not that that's your fault, but you know, I think if you guys need to be calling your targets, it's probably what the issue here is. Focus on the tanks. Definitely, you know, look for those uh, those mercy picks. The Moira after, you know, after she's his fade. Uh, I think you're gonna die here. Your healing keeps getting stuffed by that rock. But I think that fight was lost anyway. Yeah, Sigma's hard to. When Sigma's getting pocketed like that, it's really hard to just, you know, finish him off just by yourself. Yeah. Oh, I think you're looking for that edge pick. That was, that was good. You can actually do that from the other side of the bridge, too. It's a little easier. Nice, nice. Yeah, you got some good hooks in here. Yeah, I think maybe you want to play front lines here, though. Instead of going back for that echo. But it's good that you're aware that she's coming back. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you were trying to hit with your whole hug here, I think. I think you maybe weren't aware that they'd come past you already. Uh you know, they're fighting. Right over there, but yeah, you see him pushing back. Yeah. Okay. Again, this is this is a messy fight, and I think it's mainly because your team are not focusing it's focusing targets. So try and call out your targets. Try and encourage your team to call out targets. Uh, and I think it'll it won't get so scrappy there. You know. Uh, yeah, and if you if you you're you got a good plan there to push push everyone off of payload, but I think the ball got it on payload and you didn't see them. So uh a good a good plan, but the uh the execution was just slightly off. Try and make sure you know, you can stand like on top of the payload, you can kinda see all around it, and you can push everyone back at once. Um would have been a little easier to make sure no one could touch with the whole hop. Okay. I'm just gonna skip ahead here. Alright, I'm gonna go for the uh, environmental kill off the bridge. That's good, you seem very aware of like... You know, I, I assume you watch some other people's robots. Seen some stuff. I'm trying to copy it, and that's good. Oh yeah, that was a little risky. I don't know if I would have. Might have healed a little earlier here after this pick. Right? You can heal here, you know. This pick is the, going in there, and that was a little greedy, and you almost, almost got punished. Okay, that was a lucky hook, to be honest. That was a little lucky. Try and throw your hooks places where people... Like, yeah, you landed a hook anyway, but try and throw your hooks where you think people are going to be. Like, the usual suspects in the show. Uh, get this. Uh, yeah, okay, that echo's dead. I thought that was... Okay, here we go. So... Your hook is up, right? Or it will be in a second. Your hook is up here. So you can peek this corner and throw your hook like a around the corner and into that uh, doorway here, right? 
people are probably going to be here. Maybe the Hanzo peaks again. Maybe the Echo's still in that doorway. You can throw your hook out, not so much aiming at a target, but where you think a target's going to be, and you'll probably get something right here. Yeah, if you'd thrown that hook into that doorway, you would have gotten the Hanzo for sure. That's kind of what I'm talking about. You're like, you don't have to know that they're there. You don't have to be aiming at them. That's like just a prediction hook. Just like someone's probably in that doorway. You know, Hanzo's probably going to peek again. I'll throw it around the corner as he as he comes around. Yeah, if, and if you miss the Hanzo there, you're very likely to hit the Echo. So you do end up throwing a hook and you hit the Echo mid-jump. I think that was a lucky hook, but uh, you would have had, you would have had, <laughs> you know, instead of a lucky hook, I think you could have had like this, basically a guaranteed 100% hook throwing it at that doorway now. You could have got one of the two of them. Okay. Good hook though. Value. Okay. Fighting ball. Try and steal the mega from ball. If you're if you're fighting him like that, next to a mega, try and see if you can steal the mega from him while you're fighting. Okay, good. I don't know if ball's the target you want to be focused on. There are there are higher value targets. Baptiste over here, higher value target. Um you know, the Mercy high value target. Uh dueling tanks is actually pretty you can do it as Roadhog, but it's not usually the, the highest value option, right? Um, whoops, where are you? There we go. Uh, yep. Okay. It's fine. Again, I feel like you're trying to contest payload fight takes. There, that's great. Yeah, both both supports are dead. Like this fight's gonna mop up. You know, for real. Yeah, nice hook. Okay, I don't love that whole hog. Uh, it's good. It's good attempt. I see what you're thinking, but yeah, bit of a waste. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you could have done something at this time here. Uh, it might have been. I think you know this ball is here. So that's why maybe you're a little cautious to push up. But you could push up to this little room here and go for another one of those uh, environmental hooks, you know? Maybe you catch the Mercy when she doesn't know you're there if you time your peak correctly. Uh, ball's not going to kill you. You know, you might do some damage here while you're while you're going for this pick. But, you know, that that is, that is I think, that's safe enough. You could push up to here, try and go for that pick. If you don't get it, you can just retreat back, you know, tank your way. Feel your way back to your team, right? Uh, it's a pretty low percentage hook. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 But so far, this game seems to be going pretty well. This first point only seems to be going well for your team. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Nice. I like it. You're doing really well against this Echo. That might be better than I do against Echoes, on average. Yeah, see, I think you should walk right past the Sigma and, s and try and get the Mercy, you know? And if you don't get the Mercy, like, just walk out this back door over here, you know? Like, fight. If you hook the Sigma, if you shotgun, hook, shotgun the Sigma, he doesn't die. He's just going to get healed by the Mercy, and you've burned your kit, and he rocks you while you try and heal and walk away. Like, like this pretty low percentage to go for the Sigma. Walk past him, try and grab the Mercy. If you don't grab the Mercy, just walk out the door, you know? Or walk back this way. Just leave. Just, you know? I, I feel like fighting the Sigma, especially when he's pocketed, is just not... The odds are not in your favor. Yeah, that's great. Flank. Yeah, yeah, okay, nice. I like it. You did not get away, though. What happened there? Probably because you burned your heal fighting the Sigma, right? So, yeah, your heal's on cooldown because you just lost it. Oh, you just, yeah, you, you, you healed as you left the Sigma. I don't know if you needed to heal there, though. Let's see. Okay. Health is pretty low. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. 
Yes. It's unfortunate you don't get away from this. Um, it's a nice pick anyway. Probably worth. I assume they're gonna take this first point here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I feel like you should have gotten that one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you had a ton of options here. I might have chased that Hanzo into that small room, even just, uh, even after you missed that hook on him. Uh, it might have been worthwhile to go in there after him, right? Was, was Echo in there as well? Yeah, that's a tough call, honestly. Uh, but I feel like you want to get these side rooms. You know, if you're trying to contest the cart here, it's really hard to do from behind this choke. Um, if you walk into this room, at like heal and just walk into them and face tank them, you might scare them into walking out here, and then you've got like this corner to work with, you know? And you can kind of like, you got five seconds to your hooks up, right? So you, you walk in and you heal, and they run back out because uh, they're scared of you. Hopefully. You know, yeah, I don't feel too strongly about that. Yeah, that's a tough one. I honestly don't know what the correct play is there, you know? It might have been one of those things. Where you come back as uh, someone other than Hog to try and test that particular choke. It's a, it's a tough choke for Hog. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Hanzo's footsteps here, but they're, they're pretty clearly audible like as you're going through these steps. I feel like you should have heard those footsteps and know that there was a Hanzo there and gone for him rather than the Echo. If you didn't hear the footsteps, you know, then that's fine. But you should try and keep an ear out for these kinds of things. We have a good team here, I think. Yeah, I feel like you should have uh, been moving into this area up here. Um, you know, you can kind of attack people like the Echo that's kind of using this as cover. You can kind of come around here and surprise them. Or you could drop behind the enemy and uh, try and assassinate some of these squishies in the back line. You know, uh, picks like Mercy and Ana uh, are worth dying for. Um, ideally, you drop in, you kill the Mercy, and you can walk back away, and the you know this team will the team will chase you, and your team will come in, you know, while they're split. That that's an ideal situation. But if you die getting the Mercy, then I think that's worth. It, so uh, you know, then maybe more likely you come into this area and end up fighting the Echo. Uh, and if you get her, great. And if not, you come back around. Uh, fighting here, as Roadhog in particular, I don't think it's great. Um, that's a that's a fantastic hook. Obviously, uh, did not keep track of your ammo there, but it happens. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Happened again. Okay. Obviously, you know what, what's the problem there is. All right, you rotating back up to high ground. I feel like right here you should probably uh, be looking to get back up the stairs, get back up onto that high ground. Uh, I didn't love that corner you were on, but that high ground gives you access to a lot of options. It's a ton of options. Here you go. Going back up, but the enemy team. Oh, you came back down. Oh. Go to high ground. Okay. I feel like you're not getting a lot of value in this final fight. Like you've landed 
a lot of really good hit hooks so far, but I think everything you did after you left the high ground was really uh, not benefiting your team, you know? I think... What is that? That's like a minute or more. Drop down off the high ground, get a kill, good. You get, a, you get two kills here, but you never make it back up to the high ground. Right? And, and yeah. I think ultimately your team, your team suffers from it. Yeah. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I I honestly think that that was more of a positioning problem at the end there than anything mechanical. Uh, you know, I think I think overall you played pretty well. I think you had some really good hooks. Um you know, there's there's not a heck of a lot you could have done that differently on that match. Um, you know, even if you had positioned really well here, I don't know if you win the whole game off of that. But I think I think you could have done better in in this last fight. Uh, maybe you were like panicking, and that's why you started to forget to reload your weapon, or that you'd run out of uh, reloads. A couple times in this in this room, um, so maybe you're just feeling the adrenaline at this point, right? Like, you know, it seems you seem like you're a little a little panicked in this last fight. Yeah. So here, I definitely think you could have gone over to the boat area. Uh, ideally, you would have been up on high ground, but like at this point, you know. You've already not gone up onto high ground. Maybe like go around this way and look to uh, try and nab one of the again one of those squishies. I think maybe you're going after tanks a little too much. Um, you know, it's really hard to to outright kill. Like you're already you're already down a few, and you're gonna have to at this point try and carry the game. Uh, you basically need to make a pick at this point, and I don't. You know, you're not going to get picks against tanks when you're already down, right? So, so yeah, if you if you've gone around that corner, like maybe you could get, you know, the echo. You know, you know, wouldn't kill the echo, but you can get her out of the McCree form, maybe with a good hook. Maybe you get the soldier, but they come from behind, nasty, and it, you end up losing the round. But yeah, overall, I think you played pretty well. I don't think, at least in this game, I don't think you made any major mistakes. You know, everything was super, like, you know, minor. Uh, well, I think a lot of minor mistakes probably added up more so than anything, like, big and obvious that I saw. So, uh, you know, honestly, just <laughs> I keep, at, keep at the grind. Uh, try and be a little bit more aware of uh, positioning. And, you know, if you feel like something's not working out, don't be afraid to switch. I mean, I love Hog, but he is not a uh, he's not a one size fits all solution. You know, there there are times and places where you might need to switch. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, and honestly, you know, keep at it. I think I think you got this, man. I think you can climb pretty pretty well because you got a pretty solid uh, pretty solid Hog under your belt. You know, maybe uh, make sure you're calming. I don't know what your comms were like in that game, but uh, you know that can make that can make a break difference, right? You know. Uh, so I think I'll leave it at that.